All right, what up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your drum sound like Pyrex Whipple. Pyrex Whipple. And a little bit of Southside. And I'm also going to be showing you guys how you could add your own sounds to samples that you're already playing. So I already got a sample loaded up in FL Studio. This is actually a sample from the KBZ and Kyle Stenberger kit. Uh, I believe it was called uh, Bad Games or something. Here, let me check real quick. Uh, Bad Habits. So this is what that sounds like. So you get the idea, it's like a warped sample with like a flute over it. So basically I want this to sound a little bit different right now. So what I'm gonna do is add an RC retro color and just change the noise down to like 13% and change it to 7.5 inch. And then uh, I'm gonna bring the wobble down to like 9% the distortion down to about 22 probably gonna keep it at tube maybe air um, and then I'm gonna bring the space to about 20% and just widen it a bit so this is what it sounds like now alright and then the last thing I'm gonna add on this sample is a alright and then the last thing I'm just gonna add a fab filter to cut out some of the lows So Pyrex Whippa, he kind of makes his bounce with his hi-hats. You know, he's really popular for doing that. But yeah, like I said, his bounce comes from his hi-hats a lot of the times, which he does really cool. And honestly, he's one of my favorite producers right now, so this is why I'm making this video. So what I'm going to do is just add this pattern into the playlist, drag it out to eight bars. I'm going to go into my drum kit. The thing with Pyrex Whippa too is he uses the hit hi-hat, which is a very notorious hi-hat. I'm pretty sure it was created by Lux Luger. Alright, so now I'm just trying to create a little balance with the hi-hat. Before I start making the hi-hats, one thing I always notice with his hi-hat mixing is he adds a tiny amount of reverb. Seems like the, the size of the reverb is pretty up high, but then it's probably only around like 10%. So a lot of people probably know Pyrex Whipper for his pretty unique hi-hat roll that he does. It's just a, if you as long as you're not in halftime, it's uh, you go to one six beat and just fill in seven hi-hats and then have each hi-hat go down in pitch. Uh -huh. So this is what I came up with for the hi-hat.
All right, now I'm just gonna add a basic clap. And then I'm gonna try and find some open hats that fit well with this. Alright, so I just added two open hats and I panned each one a little bit differently just to add a little bit of space to it and this is what that sounds like. Alright, so now I'm going to try and add some snares and maybe a perk or two. Alright, so I think I pretty much have the perk loop finished, so this is what all that sounds like. So before we get to the 808, I think I'm going to try and add a little bit to the sample just to make it sound a little different. So I th I'm going to go ahead and open Purity and just go through some sounds and th see if I can find something. What I just used there was called Key Finder, by the way. It's a free plugin. It helps you find the key of the sample that you're using if you can't find it. So I just added this flute. It sounds a little dry, so I'm gonna add some stuff, but I'm gonna let you listen to it before I do that. So 
so you're probably going to see me using a lot of this plugin, but RC Retro Color. It's fire for making any instrument sound a little like outdated. So I'm going to try and make this flute sound real wide and spacey. I'm also going to add some delay to it. Probably four step, bring the cut way down, the volume up, and then the input down. Pretty decent amount. I put it on ping pong, and then I'm going to pan it, so this will just have the echo panning from left to right speaker. So the flute that I added, I just added a RC retro color and a delay to it, and this is what that sounds like. So now I'm gonna move on to the final part. That's gonna be the 808, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of secret sauce here. So a lot of the times Pyrex Whippa uses a spins 808, but there's a little little secret sauce that he does to it, and I'll show you guys that. So you know this the spins 808 stock, if you will, doesn't really sound like anything Pyrex Whippa would use. It's kind of just boring. So I'm gonna show you guys what you can do to make it sound a lot better. So always make sure you click cut itself so it doesn't overlap. Then you're gonna wanna go into the 808, this EQ knob right here, bring that up, pretty decent amount. So now it's gonna sound a l like way more distorted, but what you're gonna wanna do is go back into your normal effects here and bring the out knob pretty high up. And now the 808 sounds like this. So I'm actually going to boost it a little more and then drag the out knob up a little more, uh, bring the boost down a tiny bit. Maybe bring the out knob a little less. And that's about what I'm looking for. So I'm going to bring the volume up just a tiny bit and then I'm going to try and find some 808s that fit into the key. Alright, so I finished the 808 and one thing I'm going to say before I let you listen to it is a lot of the times, I've been noticing this in like Pyrex Whip of Beats, uh, Jetson Beats, what they do is the first 808 that hits, so say the bass note of the sample is C sharp, which it is for this one, the first hit on the 808 would actually be an octave higher than it normally should be, which is what I did in this and you'll see what that sounds like. So I'm going to just finish this off with a kick and then I'm going to go ahead and lay it out, structure it for you guys, and then play it when it's done. But before I lay this out, I'm going to mix it real quick. All right, so the beat's mixed. So now I'm going to show you guys how it structure a beat. So when you're structuring a beat, what you want to do is go into the patterns right here and right click your pattern that you made all your drums in. Click split by channel. Go back into the playlist. Delete all this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and before I do anything, add the purity. The sample that I used, it has a flute and then like a, maybe like a warped piano in the background. And then so the second half of the 16 bars is just the piano without the flute. So for the intro, what I'm going to do is let the sample with the flute play like that. And then I'm going to add everything besides the kick. And then so I'm going to split this as well just to have them separate and then for some reason my FL is doing this I don't know why but it, whenever I cut it it's not cutting it on uh, on the grid so I have to move it back it's weird so yeah like I said I'm just gonna the intro is gonna be the whole sample pretty much just without the purity and then it's gonna drop the flute everything's gonna play but no kick and then I'm gonna have the rest of the sample come in along with purity all the drums as well as the kick 
And then I'm gonna have the second part of the sample play again, but with the purity flute. But I'm gonna make it unique and drop it down an octave. And I'm gonna play everything again just without the kick, but I'm gonna take the hi-hat out for about a bar right at the end here, just to add a little bit of a, uh, like a build-up type thing, suspense. And then I'm gonna have the, the whole sample coming again without purity. And I'm gonna bring every all the drums back in, but I'm gonna have them play about halfway through, have it come in a little later. And a little trick you could do here is have the hi-hat come in first, then the clap, and then everything else. And then I'm probably just gonna duplicate this over two or three times until we're at about three minutes. So I'm gonna let you guys hear that, but that's all for this video. I hope I taught you guys some stuff. If I did, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you learned. And let me know what you want to see next. That's the most important thing. Tell me what you guys want to see next. Because I'm only going to make videos if you guys want them, you know? So, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. What up, Q?